Doppler 12 Futurecast. And that complete story with Michelle Muscatello is currently online at WPRI.com. I was actually the one that did the story, and it's pretty amazing. Could have been a very scary situation. In that story, we basically show you where the generator was, and I'll tell you what, it looks like it would be a safe thing to do as it was outside, but obviously uh, that was not the case. So anyway, check out the story. A good thing to see, especially if you use a generator when your power goes out. Let's talk about what's happening though with our temperatures and our winds. No storms in sight to knock out any more power or do any wind damage, which is very good news. We go back to fall today with those temperatures back into the 50s and we will get some sunshine early. I think some high thin clouds moving in late, but certainly nowhere close to the 70s that we had yesterday. A few showers on the way for Sunday, not a washout or anything like that. I do see the clouds winning out, however, and then it gets colder next week, especially from the middle to the end of the week. As we start the work week, we may have a little warmth rebound as temperatures try to make it once again into the 70s. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. Newport showing some beautiful sunshine outside, visibility in great shape. 45 is our temperature here at the city by the sea and in work we're 46 degrees. So yes, the sweatshirt or light jacket, not a bad thing to have with you this morning. We have some clutter showing up on the Doppler radar. Nothing going on overhead though. With a recent wind of 12 miles an hour in Providence, 6 in Smithfield, we are calm in Westerly. I do see the winds flaring up a little bit, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and then they'll start to calm down and ease a bit into the afternoon. So overall, not really a windy day and that's because the center of high pressure moves to our east, slackens a little bit and as it moves in this direction, it'll send in those winds from the northeast. In terms of this moisture that you see here, we will not get a direct hit from it, but we'll get a warm front which will send in some moisture kind of scraping by our area at times for tomorrow. In addition, as that happens, some warmer air will be pulled into our area as well, but we really don't get all that warm tomorrow. In fact, as warm air starts to push against cooler air, sometimes that creates rising motion and that is what creates clouds and sometimes showers and that's what we have on the way for tomorrow. In fact, we take you to tomorrow at lunchtime. This is not today, this is tomorrow where a few showers are possible, but notice the trend. It's not raining the whole day and we get instead these intermittent showers off and on. So if you have outdoor plans, you could maybe sneak in some outdoor activities in between these showers, but the rain jacket or umbrella, not a bad thing to have with you as these showers will be returning, especially Sunday night into Monday morning. I think we get a gap late Monday morning into Monday afternoon, and then a few final showers and downpours could return with even a few thunderstorms possible Monday evening, especially if we can really heat things up during the day on Monday. Today's planner, though, looking pretty good. Noontime 53 around 56 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Along the south coast, temperatures generally in the mid-50s, 54 in Hope Valley, 54 in Charlestown, and 54 in Wickford. Northern Rhode Island temperatures cooler than yesterday as well. 54 Burville, 53 Sichuit, 54 Woonsocket with some increase in clouds during the afternoon. There'll be those kind of high thin clouds which give the sky kind of a milky look to it. So that's the kind of cloud cover where sometimes the sunlight can get through there a little bit. 54 in Attleboro, 54 Seekonk, 53 in Fall River. If you're out and about for the special water fire this evening, jacket a good thing to have with you. Even though it's not going to be terribly cold for this time of year, we will go into the 40s after sunset. And do not forget to set the clocks back one hour before you go to bed tonight. And by tomorrow afternoon, that means we will have a sunset time of 4.35 in the afternoon. I know it's a little bit demoralizing, but think of it this way. At least you get an extra hour to your weekend, right? Seven day future cast shows, not a washout Sunday, but periods of showers. Same thing on Monday. I think we get some rain free time. How about 70 for a high temperature if we can poke some holes in the cloud cover along the south coast. We may not quite make it to the 70 degree mark, especially some of the clouds and maybe a little bit of fog lingers. Tuesday showers likely, especially during the morning, clearing out by Tuesday afternoon. Notice our high temperatures though behind that front into the 50s and then our morning temperatures going into the 30s from the middle to the end of the week. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness Sports with Yanni Caracas. Week 9 of the Friday Night Blitz. High school 